Come out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah Life Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries, and we're going to go over this week's Hef Torah. We're going to look at 2 Samuel 22, 1-51. And this is a song of King David, and David had a lot of trials in his life, and uh, there's a reason why he was so successful and such a great man of Yahweh and it says here the way he thought so this is this week's half Torah and it starts off where he says uh, Yahweh is my rock my fortress and my deliverer the God who is my rock in whom I find shelter my shield the power that saves me see the first thing he did was what we all have to he acknowledged where his power is where it comes from and he's thankful for it and every single day in the scriptures we show that he was so thankful for that because he just kept exalting Yahweh and thanking Yahweh and never did he put it on himself and says I am he always says Yahweh is and that's the, the attitude we need it's not about us it's about him he gives us these things you see a lot of people today wanna idolize and worship certain things but it's, we, what we're supposed to do is, is is understand the giver of those things and be appreciative and thankful to the giver of those things but as we move along here in this week's half Torah even more important is in 2 Samuel 22 20 he says he rescued me because I took pleasure in him again taking pleasure in him and not the things he created and that's why he rescued David and he continually rescued David it says in 1 Samuel 2.22, it goes on to say, For I have kept the ways of Yahweh, I have not done evil by leaving my Creator. For all His rulings were before me. I did not depart from His regulations. I was pure-hearted towards them and kept myself from sin. And then it goes on to even say in, in 25, in verse 25 it says, Hence Yahweh repaid me for my uprighteousness according to my purity in His views. Now we understand it says here again it says I did not decline from his regulations and I kept his ways with a pure heart and we have a problem today you know there's a lot of disease in the churches there's a lot of people suffering uh, who uh, call themselves believers the problem is David sets the example and all the scripture sets the example of how we are to model our lives and David says I, I, I kept his ways with purity of my heart I did not decline from his ways. Uh, I kept his ways. Incline means to bend. So my heart bended towards his ways. And, and I did not decline what he offered me. So we have incline and decline. Uh, decline is to reject and incline is to is, is your ways that I want to keep. You know, so it says in the scriptures, turn my heart toward your testimonials and not to covetousness. And this is the heart that David had and this is the heart that we need. The problem we have today is, you know, and I speak to a lot of places now, more and more, I'm speaking in churches and everything else, is uh, they get misunderstood by uh, one of the most misunderstood words, uh, misunderstood words in scripture is this word law. You know, when Yeshua came, you know, he had an issue with the law of man, not the guidelines and the instructions of Yahweh, which is known as the Torah. We are not to follow the law of man if it goes against Yahweh's guidelines and instructions. And that's the problem. A lot of Christians today are taught that, uh, you know, if you follow the law, it's a legalistic thing. Uh, well, that's exactly what Yeshua taught. He said, stop following man's law. Instead, listen to my Father's guidelines and instructions. They are your protection. They are your rock. They are your shield. And when we, when we start considering man's law and Yahweh's law the same thing, that's where the trouble begins. That's why Yeshua had to come to begin with. Because man was listening to man's ways and not his father's ways. Well, his father gives us guidelines and instructions. And uh, many times people misunderstand them as laws. Uh, but they're, they're guidelines and instructions. But if you want to call them laws, regulations, rulings, whatever you want to call them. I mean, I know just about everyone that stops at a red light, they follow the law. And there's several reasons. Number one, they don't want to get a ticket. And number two is they want to be safe. Well, you know what? If you disobey Yahweh's law or his guidelines and instructions, whatever you want to call it, you know, you're going to be safe. You're not going to be safe. Well, you know, if you disobey Yahweh's guidelines and instructions because you mistakenly think it's a law, you're going to be in danger. You're not going to be safe. 
And and why does this say? Because it says in the scriptures, keep my commands and regulations. Look, you could take every book in the scriptures. You could take uh, the Torah, which is the first five books of scriptures, and then go on to all the prophets, and then you can get to the New Testament, and then you can go all the way down to Revelations. His guidelines and instructions are set. And it says here there's no situation that hasn't happened in the scriptures that is not... Uh, an example for us how to live and model our lives or what to do in a particular situation. Not only does it show us what to do in a particular situation, but it also shows us the result that is going to happen uh, based on what we decide to do. The great wonderful thing he gives us is a choice. But today, so many people are being led away by man's ways, just like during the time of Yeshua. And the people leading the way today is the church. The church is following more of man's ways than ever before. And they're not following the scriptural guide, uh, the commands and regulations as Yahweh. So everybody, that's this week's half Torah. And it says here, you know, that in, in 2231, it says, Yahweh's way is perfect. It says it's perfect. And it says in 33, uh, Yahweh is my strength and my protection. He makes my way go straight. Uh, so that's the attitude we need. We have to be thankful to Him for what He's given to us and understand that perfect means there's no flaws. And, and, and just like David said in this song here, that He makes my way go straight. And uh, He leads our path and He's a light for our path, a light in the darkness. And uh, we have to acknowledge that and we have to uh, with joy see that and anyone out there who hasn't realized that yet I'm telling you that there's no more joy in your life than you could feel than being in a great close personal relationship with our Creator Yahweh and everybody that's this week's half Torah portion and uh, you could just we'll be doing some more of those and we'll be doing Q&A and everything if you have any comments or questions just post them below this video until then everybody have a great day and we'll see you soon here on uh, Torah Life Ministries. Come out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways.